plans being considered by the government to make it easier for developers to convert empty business space into homes have been severely criticised by the City of London, even saying that it could result in the death of the city. The proposal is one solution to London's severe shortage of housing. Well, uh, let's get more from the, on this from Sonia Jessup, uh, who's uh, overlooking the city now. Sonia. Yes, the death of the city, it sounds very dramatic, doesn't it? But the City of London Corporation is insisting that these plans could do real damage to London's financial centre. It says that while changing the planning laws could work for other areas, it won't work for the square mile. Once a vacant office, soon to be a home. After struggling to persuade a business to move in, the developers won permission to turn the building into housing. But it wasn't easy and they'd welcome plans to cut red tape. The difficulties of the hurdles within planning and, and the loops that you have to jump through to try and change from commercial to residential, it's an incredibly different process, very expensive, very time consuming. Uh, this would help us release a lot of vacant space that's currently unused and provide more homing within London. Under the government's proposals, developers would no longer need permission to change the use of the building from commercial to residential. And that's good news, according to the British Property Federation. It says tens of thousands of new homes like this one could then be created in the capital at a time when London is facing a huge housing shortfall. It's thought that 325,000 new homes are needed within the next 15 years. But at what cost to the capital's businesses? The City of London Corporation is warning that so-called red tape is there for a reason. And if office space starts disappearing, as the economy recovers, it could be a disaster for London's financial centre. This is panic legislation which will result in the death of the city of London and substantial harm to the major urban areas of this country. No point having new homes for people with no jobs. The government says that's an exaggeration. It argues that local councils will be able to judge for themselves whether it's right to allow offices to be converted. I know uh, in my suburban constituency office buildings uh, which actually have been vacant for a long time because nowadays companies want big open plan offices. I suspect those are the ones uh, that are likely to be uh, converted uh, into residential dwellings. But the City of London Corporation claims that every building is worth more as an upmarket apartment than it is as an office and it's worried about where relaxing the rules for developers will lead. But as you heard, there is this real housing shortage in London and the government is under huge pressure to find all these extra homes. Now, there is a consultation process going on at the moment and both sides will be keen to make their voices heard. But the balance between finding extra homes for Londoners whilst at the same time protecting London's businesses could be a difficult one. Riz. Sonia, thank you.